It's chicken from the Lord. So he, so he made it? Yes, sir, he did. Yeah. I, I, can, I can work with this. You can. Yeah. You want to uplift your customer's palate. Yes, sir. When they bite into your food, you want the taste buds to scream out, hallelujah. Reach it, brother Teddy. You are a godsend. I'm a salesman, man. That's what I do, OK? Now, when it comes to titles, I don't even care. Marketing and director, that's up to you, because I'm getting my GED. You are better in yourself, brother Teddy. Yeah. That's what being a Christian is all about. Yeah, amen to that. <laughs> amen. Yeah. This should fit you perfectly. Brother Teddy, I have been waiting on the Lord to bring me a pint-sized little man like you to fill this out. And here you are. Good morning, George. Good morning, Mrs. Reagan. Is everything all right? It's fine. Ma'am, I can't figure that out. I think he's probably just making sure everyone else is okay. I'm going to that hospital. You can't do that, ma'am. Get too, me my car. It's too dangerous, Mrs. Get Reagan. Get me my car or I will walk. Rainbow on the move. Mrs. Reagan, please listen to me. This is too dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> because the truth is, we are going to make more money than anybody. It's going to make people sick. And you, my man, we're going to take you to the White House. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm not joking. Don't think I'm playing. All right. We're having trouble with our convoy route through there. Who's in charge of the village? Right now, Jafar Al Khalid. And I want a meeting with Al Khalid ASAP. Right away, ma'am. Problem, Major? There may be some resistance to meeting with a woman, ma'am. I'm sorry about that other thing. When it happens to you, there's nothing anyone can say. Come again? Your wife. What about my wife? Start making sense, Bryce. Frank, look, I am really sorry. Just, just forget I said anything, all right? So you claim that this book is a misrepresentation? Yes. What about this? Ellie took one look at my outfit and told me it needed to be burned and that she would set it on fire whether I was wearing it or not. I went home to change outfits and she docked my pay while I was gone. Do you recall this incident? I do. If the DA wants to prosecute for forgery, that's his decision. But as far as this case is concerned, she has not shown falsity. Public disclosure of private facts is actionable, so I'm amending my complaint. Public disclosure doesn't apply here, because Miss Tannen is a public figure. She doesn't enjoy the same right to privacy as us common folk. I thought she dropped this case, and now she wants a closed courtroom? Is this another one of your stunts? If this were a stunt, I'd be inviting TMZ into the gallery. The information I intend to introduce is of a sensitive personal nature. Let me tell you, there's plenty to say about Lydia. <laughs> Did I not predict this? Here we go. Total nuclear meltdown as usual. What is it? Erratic behavior? I'm not the one who told her she had to choose who she wants to live with, as if that wouldn't warp a 16-year-old girl. Just tell us what the problem is. I wasn't aware that there was a problem. <laughs> you know how most murder victims die, Mrs. Osterreich? Gunshots, I'm assuming? In my experience is it's usually at the hands of loved ones. Even after all this time. Did you fight? Never. You hear that, Almendorf? Married couple that never fought. Apparently my husband was more understanding than either of you. Let's say the late Mr. Osterreich was a model husband. And you the model wife. Did he have enemies outside the home? Everybody loved her. Not everybody. But you must have seen this coming. I saw it coming. What? Yeah. I mean, they don't like you. Nobody likes you. Nobody? No, not really. <sighs> You're a loudmouth, a hothead, a braggart. And to be quite frank, I think you actually might have some anger issues. I don't have anger issues. All righty then. Look, don't worry about it. Good morning. My name is Dr. Burgess. I'm chief of neurology. I've been monitoring Eric's condition throughout the evening. There's no easy way to say this. But Eric's head injury is irreversible. What are you saying? Ma'am, what I'm saying is... 
Eric's head injury is so severe, it is very unlikely he's going to recover. No, don't say that. Don't say that. That's not true. I wish I had better news for you. I truly do.